Hello, I am Dr. Anira Ibrahim Al Semah, Assistant Professor of Human Anatomy and Embryology, Faculty of Medicine, Zagazik University. My project entitled Development of a Pool of High Quality Scenario Based Test Items for Human Anatomy and Embryology, both graduate curricula at the Faculty of Medicine, Zagazik University. My project advisor, Professor Dr. Haini Sen. Written assessment of postgraduate candidates in anatomy and embryology at the Faculty of Medicine, Zagazic University, depends currently on recall questions only, which don't test the higher cognitive functions as application analysis problem solving of those candidates. However, there is a good opportunity to train item writers to write clinical scenario based test items as modified essay questions and single best answer. That will results in the development of a pool of high quality test items to be used in all authentic exams that better assess the candidate's ability to apply anatomical knowledge in practical contexts. Ultimately, this will help improve the health care services provided to the community through better medical post graduates. The materials and the methods. Initially, I sought for IRP approval for my project from ethics committee in my institute. After that, I prepared the training materials for the training sessions on new cognitive test items, modified essay question, and single best answer, and selected my project team from the staff member, the whole involved in teaching the human anatomy and embryology both graduate curriculum. After that, I successfully could implement my training session at the end of July and to collect evidence about the training session, pre and post tests were performed to assess the level of orientation and acquire the skills of the staff members. Moreover, a questionnaire was done to know the staff members' reflection and feedback about the session. For item de development process, the tasks that required from the staff members and the time scheduled for implementation of this process were prepared and the uh, word template for delivering the test items were formulated. For revision process, the files required for this process were formulated as validated checklist for both modified sequestration and single best answer were prepared. The staff members committee for internal revision uh, were selected and distributed uh, uh, for internal uh, revision and the template for evaluation report were uh, prepared. Our results. Regarding to the impact of training session, the results of the pre and the post tests displayed statistically significant difference in post intervention mean score compared to pre intervention mean score for each staff members regarding to post modified essay question and single best answer. Regarding to the trainees' perception of the training session, the level of staff uh, members' satisfaction reached to 700% strong satisfaction, and their expectation if this session will make a difference in their assessment strategy displayed 700% strong difference. Regarding to the test item development, it is still under processing, but we achieved 300% of the total number of test items in the different clinical specialties that are supposed to be achieved at the end of November 2022. Regarding to the revision process, we began the internal revision process actually in the 300% of test items that will be delivered in the postgraduate exam which will be held at the end of October 2022. This revision process expected to be completed at the end of December 2022. Sustainability plan. Firstly, we should finalize the development of this pool and the continuous feeding it with new test items with continuous revision. And we should seek for categorize it in an item bank and deliver it in both the graduate final exam totally in 100%. And uh, uh, always subjected to continuous validation and the quality control. Thank you so much.